If you're running low on GTA 5 cash and need to make some money for the latest DLC, then make sure you download App Bounty in the description below. It's a free and easy way to get your hands on shark cards by downloading and playing games. Once again, link in description. Man, this is just gonna be awesome. This is gonna be amazing and I can't wait to get in this because I haven't done this before and no one else has done this before either and it's gonna be interesting to see if we can find out exactly where Trevor is buried. It's gonna be in a random gravestone completely out the way of everything and there is one gravestone which perfectly suits that and perfectly matches that description. So we're gonna go and take a look at that one. There is absolutely no way he can survive this. I'm so sorry, Trevor. I didn't mean to do that, man. A lot of these gravestones look like they've just been dug. So I'm going to use my note clip and we're going to take a look under the ground. Okay, so someone is definitely inside this grave. And we're going to go and take a look inside it. And we're going to see if this is the exact location where Michael and Franklin hide Trevor when he does end up getting taken out. Is this where they bury him? Let's find out, guys. I'm going to go inside the grave. Is anyone inside? Oh my days! Oh my gosh, guys, look at this! Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nort. Oprah for One is having an absolutely awesome day. What we're gonna do today, though, guys, is something pretty interesting, and I have a feeling we are all going to enjoy this, because what we're gonna do is find out exactly where Trevor is buried after the final mission in GTA 5, when we do actually take him out. Now, this has so much more depth to this as well, and I've been looking in the comments, and I've seen about 10 of you guys over the past month or so, ask me this question. And although not many of you guys have asked me to do this, every single time I see this question, it always gets me thinking to see exactly where Trevor would be buried because we do take him out. We take him out in the final mission. He disappears. That's it. He's gone. He's no longer in GTA 5, which means he's going to be buried somewhere in GTA 5. And something else we're going to take a look at, guys, is Trevor's ghost. Believe it or not, if you go over to Trevor's trailer at two o'clock in the morning, once he is taken out after the final mission, then you you will see his eyes come out of the window as if he is watching you. And there is actually an entire GTA Wiki article about this, about many players discovering this and checking it out and stuff. And apparently it's a really spooky Easter egg. So what we do know is after the final mission, Trevor is no more. He's buried somewhere in GTA 5 and there is apparently a ghost inside his trailer at two in the morning when you can witness Trevor as a ghost in GTA 5. So this is just gonna be awesome. I can't wait to get into this and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see exactly where where Trevor is buried in the game. But before we get into this, guys, I just want to kindly ask each and every one of you to smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and smash that goal of 5,000 likes, guys. You guys get it every single time. So thank you so much for that. And uh, man, this is just going to be awesome. This is going to be amazing. And I can't wait to get into this because I haven't done this before and no one else has done this before either. And it's going to be interesting to see if we can find out exactly where Trevor is buried. And of course, we're going to see if we can find his ghost as well, uh, which is gonna be very very spooky and creepy but we're still gonna do it we're still gonna do it guys so let's go over to this ring and let's just take out Trevor let's get him over and done with and let's go and take out Trevor guys oh my gosh oh wait we just changed outfits are you kidding me <laughs> I swear we weren't wearing that outfit what we just changed outfits before we opened the door okay that's a bit weird guys uh, should I just skip this let's skip this cutscene and let's go onto the phone let's go for Trevor is it something sensible I think it's something sensible Oh boy. I'm so sorry, Trevor. I'm so sorry we're doing this to you, but it needs to be done, man. It needs to be done. And now we're going to wait for Trevor. I absolutely hate doing these missions. I hate them so much, but this needs to be done so we can proceed with this to see exactly where Trevor is buried at the end of this. And let me know in the comments section below, guys, which ending do you prefer most? Do you prefer taking out Trevor, Michael, or Devin Weston? A, B, or C? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. And something else we're going to take a look at in this video is we're going to look at unmarked graves. This means that we're going to take a look at graves just randomly located around GTA 5. I know there's one on top of a mountain and we're going to use our no clip to look inside it because if there's something we do know is that if we were to bury Trevor somewhere, it's going to be in a random gravestone completely out the way of everything. And there is one gravestone which perfectly suits that and perfectly matches that description. So we're going to go and take a look at that one. And we're also going to go to the other graveyards as well and use our no clip and stuff to take a look inside the graves to see exactly what we can find. And to be honest, I'm pretty excited for this because this is such an interesting idea and I want to know where they bury Trevor afterwards because he's got to go somewhere. You can't just leave him there. Like he has to go somewhere and it's going to be interesting to see where they put him guys. I think this is the part. I think this is the part guys. There is literally no way Trevor can survive this. I'm going to skip this. I don't want to watch this anymore. We're just going to skip this and we're going to take him out and then we're going to move on with things so we know Trevor is absolutely gone and he's no more in GTA 5. So I'm so sorry about this dude, but there we go. He's out. There we go. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> 
There is absolutely no way he can survive this. I'm so sorry, Trevor. I didn't mean to do that, man. His body is still there. There is absolutely no way he can survive this. Like, there is no way whatsoever. We have to go through the credits. All right, guys, this could take a few minutes. I'm just gonna sit here and chill until the credits do end up rolling. Hey! <laughs> All right, credits have gone, and now we're back in GTA 5. And because I loaded up a game save before the final mission, this means that when we do go back into the game, Trevor is going to be gone. We can't use him, and he's going to be buried somewhere in GTA 5. And what we're going to do is find out exactly where Trevor is buried, and this is the moment of truth, guys. So it's okay, Michael. It's okay, buddy. You can chill. You can chill, man. Okay? It's all good. Get changed. Get ready. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, whoa. What am I doing with the mic? I'm like pulling the microphone. I need to stop like holding the microphone. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to see exactly where Trevor is buried. I think the first place we're going to go to is the Vinewood Graveyard, considering it is literally right over here. Because there's no point going back to the city and stuff once we do end up leaving it. So let's go and check out the Vinewood Graveyard to see if we can see a gravestone with Trevor's name on it. Because that would be awesome if we could actually see a gravestone with his name on it. And to be honest, guys, although I doubt Trevor would be in the Vinewood Graveyard, it just has to be checked out because it's one of the locations he could be, but if he's not there, then we'll go and check out some unmarked graves around uh, Sandy Shores and stuff, and I can imagine that's going to be where Trevor would be, but like I said, we're going to use no clip, we're going to use our mods and stuff, and we're going to go inside these gravestones to see exactly who is inside there and what we can find, and imagine if we just found Trevor's body down there, that would be so weird. Hey, we just got through, oh, was that 38 million? Are you kidding me? Awesome. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, guys, is as you can tell, it is now daytime. I actually changed the time to daytime, and this is so I can read the gravestones better, but as you can see there's so many gravestones in the Vinewood Cemetery but this needs to be done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read off every single gravestone see if we can find Trevor's name on any of them I'm gonna speed this up I'm gonna skip this as well so you guys won't see the entire thing so don't worry guys I'm not putting you through all of this don't worry about that but if I do find Trevor's name I'll make sure to let you guys know so let's read every single gravestone I'll see you guys in just a few more seconds and let's see what we can find let's do this I Pretty much every single gravestone checked out. Just take a look at these ones. Yeah, that's pretty much all of the gravestones. I've taken a look at every single one of them in this graveyard, and to be honest, it took such a long time, but I couldn't see Trevor's name anywhere. There were still loads and loads of unmarked graves. For example, if we were to take a look at this grave right here, you have no idea who's inside it. This grave right here, or this grave, or the one next to it. Some of these gravestones have no names written on them, so I'm going to use my no clip to take a look inside them. I'm also going to go underneath the ground as well to see if we can see anyone down there. It's going to be interesting to see what we can find, and this just needs to be done. So I'm going to go into my no clip right now and we're going to take a look first off inside these graves right here. There's nothing inside this one, nothing inside this one. The one which got my attention the most though is the fact that this one has flowers on top of it. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, still nothing inside it, nothing inside this one. Okay, you know what guys, I'm going to take a look at this one because this one is on the middle of the island by itself. So I'm going to go inside it. And once again, there's nothing inside it. We're literally inside this gravestone. That's kind of creepy. So I'm going to go into plan C and we're going to take a look under the ground to see if we can see anyone buried down there. Because if they're in a gravestone, then we're going to see them under the ground. So let's go under the ground right now. What is... What is that? What? There's like a block under the ground. If you guys see anyone down here, just let me know by commenting in the comments section below. But I don't think I can see anyone yet, but there is this block here. I have no idea why this block is here. Where is it? It's like underneath the water. That is so weird. There's just a block underneath the ground. Okay. So there's a block down there. Still, nothing around here. So there's definitely no one inside this graveyard. Or at least Trevor definitely isn't inside this graveyard. So let's go over to the next one. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we're now at the next location. Like I said, the stuff I have to show you guys is going to be nowhere near as big as the Vinewood Cemetery. Because everything you guys can see right now is every single gravestone in this cemetery. Now, the reason why I have suspicions about this one is because this cemetery is in Sandy Shores. It's where Trevor would be buried officially if he were to be buried in an actual 
actual grave and not an unmarked one in the middle of nowhere. So if he's going to be buried in a cemetery, this one is going to be the one where he's going to be, in my opinion. But we're going to go and check it out, guys. First things first is I'm going to see if he's written on any of these gravestones. Do we have anyone on here? This gravestone looks very, very fresh. It looks like it's just been dug. Okay, this is interesting. A lot of these gravestones look like they've just been dug. So I'm going to use my no clip and we're going to take a look under the ground. First things first, I'm going to look in this one. Is there anyone? Okay, there's no one inside there. I'm going to look inside this one. No one inside. No one inside. Let's take a look inside these ones. No one underneath those ones. Let's take a look at this one, guys. It looks pretty fresh. No one underneath these ones as well. And also this one, the one which has just been dug. No one underneath this one. It's still a mystery about where Trevor is buried in GTA 5. It's still a mystery, guys. But don't worry, I do have another location. We have one more location, and this is a long shot, but we're gonna go and check it out because there is actually an unmarked grave on top of a mountain in GTA 5. We're gonna go and take a look inside it. No one has ever taken a look inside this grave. We're gonna be the first ever people to do this, and we're gonna see exactly who is buried inside this unmarked grave in GTA 5. Will it be Trevor? I don't know, but it's a good chance it could be guys so let's go over to that location now and let's start things off over there guys let's do this i believe the gravestone is somewhere up here it's on one of these mountains i'm not too sure which one but i know it's on one of them but i think it's up here i think we're in the right location yes we are there it is there it is there's the gravestone guys so this is the unmarked gravestone i'm not too sure if you guys have seen it or not there's a mound right next to it i didn't even realize there's a mound right there what Okay, so someone is definitely inside this grave, and we're gonna go and take a look inside it, see exactly who is buried inside this grave. There's so many stories and easter eggs and rumors about this, but once and for all, we're gonna go and take a look inside it, and we're gonna see if this is the exact location where Michael and Franklin hide Trevor when he does end up getting taken out. Is this where they bury him? Let's find out, guys. I'm gonna go inside the grave. Is there anyone inside? What? What? There's a mound right there. Someone's inside there, but there's no one inside. What? You guys can see there is the cross right there, and there's no one underneath it. There's literally no one in the grave. There is no one right there, guys. No one's buried under there. So if you were to take a look underneath the grave, you physically can't see anyone. I was not expecting that. I thought we would find something in there, guys. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go and check out one more location to see if we can find Trevor there, and that is, of course, in North Yankton. I know loads of you guys are gonna comment this in the comments section below, so we're gonna go and check out North Yankton now. And as you guys can see, we're in North Yankton right now. Trevor is still unavailable. He's still been taken out so we still can't use him and he's gonna be buried somewhere in GTA 5 but just because I know loads of you guys are gonna ask me to do this in the comments we're gonna go and check out North Yankton now and we're gonna see if Trevor is buried inside North Yankton and if he's not here then I have no idea where he's gonna be even though he has to be somewhere he has to be buried somewhere you know what guys I'm gonna read off every single gravestone once again I'm not gonna show you guys me reading every single one of them because that would be super super boring but we're gonna go and check him out now and if I do find his name I'll make sure to let you guys know so I'll see you guys in just a few more seconds. I've done every single gravestone in this graveyard and these ones look like the final ones. I've seen a few of them with flowers on as well and a few fresh graves as well. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go underneath the map right now and we're going to see if we can see Trevor's body anywhere. So can we see his body under any of these gravestones, guys? I don't think I can. I mean, I've taken a look under every single gravestone. I've read every single gravestone in GTA 5. This has taken me so long to do as well. But we have taken a look at every single gravestone in GTA 5. And still, we don't know where they buried Trevor in GTA 5. But he's 